All right, today we are starting the process of making our own moose jerky, and we're gonna be smoking it this time around in our smoker. Here in front of me, we have 30 pounds of our moose meat that is just barely thawed out, and the reason we have it semi-frozen is it's gonna make it really easy for us to slice thin into slices for jerky. The meat here came off of our roadkill moose, and most of it is from the hind quarters. We got a bunch of big chunks from there. So our first step is gonna be unwrapping all of this, slicing it up into thin strips, and we're gonna be putting it in our five gallon food grade bucket, and then we're gonna be adding our marinade. As Soon as we get it in the bucket, we're gonna put it down the root cellar. We like to let it sit for at least 24 hours, so that's what we're gonna do. And weather permitting, after that, we're gonna be firing up the smoker and we're gonna be smoking this meat. Probably gonna take two batches and we're gonna be using alder wood to smoke it. So I'm gonna get started cutting up all this meat. So you can slice this jerky as thin as you want or as thick as you want. We like a kind of a medium cut. The thinner it is, the less time it's gonna to take to smoke. But one thing you wanna do when you're cutting this meat is you wanna make sure to slice it against the grain and that way, when the jerky's smoked and it's kind of tougher, it's not gonna be real tough to chew on. It's kinda of break apart in your mouth when you go to eat it. All right, we've got our 30 pounds of moose meat all cut up. I'm gonna rinse this table off, wash my hands, and we're gonna get started on our marinade. All right, when it comes to marinating your jerky, you can pretty much do whatever kind of marinade you wanna do. You can do a soy sauce or a teriyaki based one. We have a bunch of our cowboy candy marinade left over that we're gonna be using today. Basically what this is, is a lot of sugar, a little bit of vinegar, and it's cooked jalapenos in there. So it's got a lot of spice to it. And I believe we've got a little bit of salt and peppercorns in there. So we've got eight jars of that we're gonna use. We're gonna be using some of the apple cider vinegar that Ariel made. We're gonna be using a lot of black pepper. I probably have close to a half a cup there. We're gonna use some salt. And then we had some cumin seeds that I wanted to use in here. So first thing I'm gonna do is get all these cowboy candy marinades opened up and poured on top of our meat. Also one ingredient that I forgot to mention that's in this cowboy candy is turmeric powder and that's what's in the bottom of all these jars. So when I add my apple cider vinegar, which is gonna be now, I'm just gonna put a little bit in each one of these jars to make sure I get it all out of there and then we're gonna add this all into the marinade. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of salt. And then like I said, I think we've got about a half cup of pepper here. I'm gonna add all that. And I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of these cumin seeds. And then we're gonna get it all mixed up. All right, at this point, we are done for the day. We are gonna put this down in our root cellar. It's about 35 degrees down there right now. We like to let our meat marinate for at least 24 hours. So we're gonna pick back up with you guys when we start to get the smoker fired up and we get some alder wood cut down that we're gonna be using to smoke this with. All right, it's been 24 hours since we started marinating our meat. I got it back up here from down in the root cellar and we're gonna start smoking it. We have a really simple smoker. We built this last year. I'll link the video for it if you guys wanna check it out, but it's just a few pallets, um, some extra fencing, 
and some old metal roofing and it worked great last year. It's our first time using it again this year. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a real hot fire going in there and we're gonna kinda clean off the grill and get it preheated. Then we're gonna head over to a little alder tree that we need to take down. We're gonna skin the bark off that and that's what we're gonna be using to actually smoke the moose meat. All right, while this gets going, I'm gonna grab my saw and we're gonna get that alder tree cut down. So we've got this alder all cut up into small pieces that are gonna fit inside the smoker. And as you just saw, this tree was live, so it is still green and still fresh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be peeling the bark off of all of these little pieces of alder before I throw them in the smoker. So I'm gonna get maybe five or six pieces done and I'm gonna throw them on the smoker and then we're gonna load the smoker up with meat and then I'm gonna finish uh, peeling the rest of these. And the reason I'm peeling the skin off this bark is, I don't know for sure, but a local guy who lives up here told me if you're using this stuff fresh or green, you wanna peel that bark off or else it's gonna give the meat a bad taste. So we've, we've done it ever since we've moved here, so I'm gonna continue to do it. All right, so that's what we're after, a nice piece of alder just like that. All right, as you can tell, the smoker is ripping. We got our little plate on top and that's gonna keep um, liquid from dripping on the fire. And it's also gonna help disperse the heat a little bit better. But we're ready to load this smoker up. We're hoping for one batch. Let's see how much of this smoker we can fill. Okay, so how I like to do this is I like to bring it straight out of the brine and stick it right on there, or the marinade. You wanna leave as much of that on the meat as you can whatever's gonna drip off in there will drip off, but I don't pat it dry or anything like that. All right, we got the door on the smoker. It's definitely gonna be two batches. So it's probably about 15 pounds we have on there. We're gonna let this smoke for quite a while. I wanna get this nice and dry, so I'm gonna be able to put it in vacuum packed bags and it's gonna last for a while. So we're gonna let this go until it's completely done. And then either late tonight or early tomorrow morning, we're gonna fire this thing up again and we're gonna smoke the next batch. Okay, so it's 5.30 in the evening. It's been exactly an hour and a half since we started the smoker and things are starting to look like they're cooking a little bit in there. We're gonna add on about five more big chunks of the alder and we're gonna get the door shut.
All right guys, the jerky has been going for four hours and 45 minutes. Some of the real thin pieces are starting to be done. Turned out really good. It's got a nice peppery flavor and it's not too sweet. It's just kind of a simple, really good moose jerky. This is probably gonna end up going for probably another hour and a half to two hours for some of those thicker pieces. We're gonna finish this up tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna catch back up with you guys when we start our second batch. All right, so our first batch of jerky is done. We got this huge bag, it turned out great. Before we put that in packages, I'm gonna get this second batch started and get this smoker going again. All right, this half of the jerky is done. It turned out really good. It's got a nice peppery flavor and it's just a pretty simple jerky. Moose jerky is great. It's um, It pretty much just tastes like beef. All we're gonna do to put this away is we're gonna use our vacuum sealer. We got some bags cut up and then we're gonna be putting it down in the root cellar for storage. I'm gonna get started sealing these up. All right, so this meat took about eight hours to smoke and we smoked it Temperature wise in between, I think 150 was the lowest we had it and the highest we had it was about 200 degrees. So we got another eight hours going on the smoker for that second batch. It's so tender. All right guys, we got a long night ahead of us of smoking the rest of the meat. Uh, that's going to be it for the video today. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.